for? Um, I mean, this is obviously where I wanted to be, 5-0. It's always a goal to keep winning games, and um, I think we're definitely seeing progression every practice, and that's exciting, and every game, just being able to build off of things and um, watch the film and see what we need to work on and keep moving forward. Do you feel like there's kind of a productive balance right now of having success, experiencing success on the floor, but knowing that there's still steps to take and another level this, this team can reach? Yeah, our, our offensive defense takes time to grow, and I think that we're progressing in um, a great way. I think mm -hmm. that we're growing as a team offensively with our freshman group. Um, we're learning um, the plays and the style of play, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I think overall our cohesion is growing, and we're becoming a, like a really tight-knit team. Abel, what's the, what's the, the uh, learning curve been for, like for you, just uh, you know, learning the system? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think for physicality and size-wise, um, that's a part of it. But also, um, it's a there's a little bit different of a style compared to um, club that I'm used to playing. Um, but just figuring out the rules and you know when to break those rules, stuff like that. Um, but I've been growing with that, and so I think I'm slowly starting to get there. What kind of leaders have Hannah and Addie been for you in that regard? Um, yeah, both of them, even AJ too, they were yeah. great um, mentors for me. They're telling me exactly where I need to go and what I need to do. Um, and they're, they've just been really positive role models at my, as my, for my time here. How is just the, you know, the routine, the schedule, all that, you know, it's a whole different deal for both of you now. You know, instead of playing Tuesday, Friday, you could be playing any day of the week now. And, um, what's that been like? It's been definitely an adjustment. Um, not necessarily a, a bad one. Obviously, we signed up for this, and basketball is, is what you love to do. So, um, I mean, classes and just all the stuff that goes into preparing for the game and pe <coughs> the behind the scenes stuff that people don't see, um, that's definitely been just tripled, quadrupled since high school. So, mm -hmm. I think it's a, um, a fun adjustment. and. Like Ava spoke on, all the upperclassmen are um, really good with sharing their routines and schedules and giving advice um, if we have any questions. So that's definitely been a resource I've used is asking the girls usually what they do before games or what time they get here and um, things like that. What? And we have really uh, accommodating professors too. Uh, they help us succeed both academically and athletically. Yeah. How much does cohesion kind of grow when you have a successful road trip together? You know, obviously basketball wise it's important, but you guys have gone away from here three times, three wins. What has that done to kind of accelerate the cohesion? Oh, um, I think it definitely helps build our confidence, cohesion every time we get another win. Um, it's just more um, confidence and knowing that we are good at basketball and we're, we're doing well and we're going to continue to do well. So I think just being successful in games is really um, encouraging for us as a team, but also um, we also pick up a lot of what we need to work on from those games and then build in practice to keep getting better. And we can all feel that, that we're growing every practice, every game. Um, like Ava said, just getting better at working together, that cohesion is a big, big part for us. Iowa's kind of known as a quote-unquote culture program. Um, you know, from what you've seen from the time you've been here, what, how would you describe it? Yeah, um, that is a huge part. Uh, one of our pillars of the program, um, and it's touched upon almost every day. Um, and things like our away trips, you know, we have time and the opportunity to build rapport with our other teammates and, you know, when we room with them or when we're sit next to them on the plane. And so um, we're just a really tight knit family and we are definitely working to keep it that way. Yeah, it's, um, I agree with everything Ava said. I think that's something that is preached every single day by Coach Jan, by all the coaches that just really, she's grateful to be there, really grateful for all of us. And hearing that and knowing that um, your leaders and coaches care about you like that makes you all the more willing to, to work hard for them and take their advice and want to win. For the team. So, did you guys fly a lot growing up? I mean, this was the first. This was the first flight, right? Did you guys? Uh, second, second one, Charlotte, second flight. Charlotte. Okay. I mean, what's that like? Uh, you know, instead of driving twenty miles, right? <laughs> that seems good. 
<laughs> so my mom, she's a softball player at Michigan. Um, and I was telling her about our planes and our, um, you know, our really nice flight. And she's like, back in my day, you know, we had to drive the bus for 20 hours to watch our games. And so I'm, we're very uh, thankful that we're able to have opportunities like that. And um, it's a great experience. I love it. Yeah, I've, I've flown a couple times before this, but I mean, nothing like pulling up to the plane and stepping on with a little card and yeah. scan your bag quick and you just get inside. So it's pretty incredible. So Sounds like Aaliyah's getting close. Um, as much as you've embraced the kind of do it all and help out where needed to kind of get the backup point guard stuff off your plate, will that be kind of help streamline things for you a little bit? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously willing to do still whatever they need me to do, but Aaliyah is a phenomenal player. I've loved watching her um, put in the work in the off season. It's been a really long journey for her, and I'm just super happy for her um, getting to, you know, get close to coming back. And um, I was actually roommates with her this past summer, so I've definitely um, seen the highs and lows for her, and um, I know how important this is to her. So I'm just super, um, obviously grateful for the opportunity that I've been given, and like you said, all the. Um, do it all, whatever they need me to do. But um, yeah, definitely seeing Aaliyah back is going to be great, and uh, I'm excited for her. Sitting at five and zero right now, you, you guys can't be better than five and zero through five games. But but how exciting is it to look at that five and zero record and still know like there's room for us to grow on both sides, offensively and defensively, and know that that at five and zero there, there's still a lot of room to grow. Yeah, um, on the locker room or in the locker room before the game, on the whiteboard, Coach Day will always write one and zero. So that we don't like, you know, look at our past wins and we just focus on the here and now. Um, and I think that's kind of the mindset that we're bringing into the season is just put the work in every day and uh, celebrate the wins, but then look forward to the future. We have a quick turnaround time and we want to excel with that. So.